Hi and welcome to Hand of Fate, the card game that comes to life. What we've got for you today is a short video playthrough of Hand of Fate. We'll take you through a few encounters to give you a taste of what you can expect in the game. Here we see the dealer, your opponent and the games master of Hand of Fate. Swirling around you see the deck of cards that we'll be playing with. It includes weapons, armour, artefacts and the encounters you'll face during your adventures. This is a very small deck with only a few magical items in it. As players progress, this deck of cards will evolve and grow to a huge deck that the player picks and chooses cards from to suit their playstyle or the court card they'll be facing. Here we are on the card table. This is where we'll face off against the dealer. Cards will be played here and then they'll burst into visceral action RPG combat when you reach combat encounters. We start with the court card that awaits at the end of this run. This is our very first court card that you'll face, the Jack of Dust. This card gets added to our deck and the dealer then lays out all of our treasure, encounter and monster cards. The map is laid out and away we go. What you see here is a very basic layout designed for demo purposes. Let's start and see what adventures await. Haha, the Twisted Canyon. You see a weapon glinting in the sunlight and lying next to a skeleton at the bottom of a canyon. So I can choose to either try and climb down to get it or leave it behind. It's just the start of my adventure and I've got full health, so I think I'll climb down and get it. Besides, I could use a better weapon. Ah! Okay, so I lost some health. But let's see what I got. Thunderstrike. So this is a powerful mace brimming with magical lightning, which will definitely help me on this run. And of course, I absolutely want to replace my starting rusty axe with Thunderstrike. Uh, that's not a very hard decision, but later on in the game, you've got more to choose from. Now I've come across the Dead King's Hall. There's probably treasure to be found, but it's guarded by skeletons. Uh, some combat encounters you don't have the choice to fight or sneak away. But in this one, you've got the option. At the moment I'm going to try and conserve health, so I'll try and sneak away. In Hand of Fate, choices aren't always successful. I'm trying to sneak away, but I need to pick a success card from these four cards. How lucky do I feel? I'll pick this one. Ah, that's a failure, so I guess I'm going to have to fight these skeletons after all. So we're headed into combat now. The skeleton cards head into the world and become skeleton enemies I'll have to defeat. My cards fly into the world, including my shiny new Thunderstrike mace, and become the equipment that I use. Here you can see two types of skeletons. The warriors with swords and shields, and the riflemen with muskets. While not being the strongest enemy, skeletons can be a formidable opponent due to their ability to reanimate, as you'll see here. And with the last skeleton dead, I can now continue on my adventure. Ah, looks like there was some treasure in that tomb. So I've come across a broken down wagon and I have a few choices here. I can offer to help, I can steal some food, or I can just carry on on my way. Food is consumed as you go through each encounter, so the further you travel through the dungeon, the more food you use. And here we have the court card I've been trying to get to, the Jack of Dust. Let's see what he has in store. In Hand of Fate, each court card has extra abilities, and this Jack of Dust has an aura around him. That aura causes me to lose gold whenever I'm hit within the aura. The equipment in Hand of Fate doesn't just make you a little bit stronger, it gives you new abilities and can change the way you play. Thunderstrike has the ability to call down lightning and damage enemies.
with all the bandits defeated, I head back to the card table to receive my rewards. We've defeated the first court card, but many others like him stand in my way. He's been banished to the cabinet, and we'll progress on to another court card. But before that, we get new cards added to our deck. Viking Blade, which is fantastic for cleaving, cleaving enemies apart. The Plunderer's Cap, which uh, not only protects me in combat, but also whenever I draw a treasure card, I get to draw two and pick which one I prefer, which is really powerful. The Desert of Damnation, which is an encounter we'll have to discover to uh, find out what lurks behind. And the Battle at Brooktop. So that's a very quick example of how a level could play out and the sorts of new cards that you could get that then you roll into your deck for future levels. As the game progresses, you end up with much bigger levels full of much more encounters and many more cards to choose from. Thank you so much for taking a look at our quick playthrough through Hand of Fate. And thank you so much to everybody who's supported the Kickstarter so far. We're in the home stretch now, so we'll be pushing out hard with the updates and information over the next two weeks as we come into the closing days.